Beasley with it. Now guarded by Booker. Shot clock at six. Stolen by Booker. Pass to Aiden. The kick to Durant. Misses off the left iron. I know it's about defending the post and the three-point line these days, but still got to be active in the mid-range area, and the defense gets away with one there. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. The first one falls. And you look at the career that LeBron has put together. One of the all-time greats. Amazingly lived up to the hype he had coming out of high school. And the immense pressure LeBron has had since day one of the NBA. Many others would have folded, Grant. The very true B.A. The expectations he had were just insane. Anything less than a top five player all time would be a disappointment. That's not fair to ask of any player coming into the league, much less a high schooler. Now, here is James. From behind the arc. James can't get that one to fall. Defensively, you pick your poison. That time, they gambled off the right guy. To the inside. And Booker with the jam. He's not going to miss an opportunity to find a teammate Chris Paul delivers. Good on the shot. The defensive effort was lacking a bit, but hey, give him credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Reed. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Here's Davis. And Aiden pulls it down. Durant for three. LeBron with the rebound. And that one's good. Davis. You love how LeBron is able to lift the whole team with this passing. That facilitating gives them a lot of energy. Outside for Booker. No good on the three. Pass to James. For three. And it's Devin Booker with the three. Booker's got five. Going to be an all-star guard like Devin Booker. You might want to start hitting your share of triples. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are main buckets. High post Davis. He's off on the layup. Got the ball where he wanted it, but then got swarmed. Here's Booker. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. Back to Aiden. Oh, and the jam by Aiden. Aiden's so big inside, he turns a miss into an opportunity. The Lakers trail. Pass to Bamba. Inside. Stolen by Aiden. Up top, Durant. Down low. And Aiton with the stuff. And this kind of distribution is something that Devin Booker is only going to improve upon. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And just one of the most impressive titles in league history, guys. The 2020 Lakers winning it all in the Orlando bubble. A testament to LeBron James and that team. Now here's Hachimura. Phoenix calls. Timeout. Timeout. Okay, 
legendary dance team on the planet, your Laker Girls. Both teams deciding to change it up. Laker Girls team. Up top, Payne. Pass to Aiden. And here's Durant. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. I think he just has a great feel for what the defender is thinking. Durant using the up fake there to draw the foul. And both free throws good for Durant. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? I mean, he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Pass to Achimura. Stolen by Booker. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Outside Durant. Outside Booker. It's stolen by James. Here's Achimura. And it's slammed in by Atsimura. A heady play there from Schroeder, zipping the pass to the teammate who had the cleanest look on the possession. Here's Durant. And yep, it's good. Durant. Durant's got seven points. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. And that concludes the first quarter of play. The Suns If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. All right, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Suns. Well, the effort they've shown on defense has been infectious. Everyone on this team continuing to jump at opportunities to come away with steals. Hey, we see plenty of three-point shots every game, Brent. Would you say it's still a shooter's league? Yeah, I would say it's still a scorer's league, B.A., rather than a shooter, because, look, a lot of people can take shots. Uh, there aren't too many that make them efficiently. So uh, that part is, is going nowhere. I think it's about creating points and trying to get it to the, the most opportunistic way you can score. That's what the offense's job is to do. And so he hits the technical free throw. Biombo, high post. Outside Payne. Five to shoot. Aiton. Good work defensively by James. Here's Davis. And the shot goes. Gotta love the slick ball control from AD on that sequence. And Anthony Davis on the NBA's top 75 list. Grant, do you think that was a controversial selection? Well, I mean... We it was mostly due to how young Davis still is. You can't argue with the all-NBA selection and numbers. And of course, being a recent champion may have put him over the top. Uh, sometimes LeBron just likes to take it all out on the rim, that time on display. And this is what he does so well, putting the defender back on his heels and being relentless in flying to the basket. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. I've gotten used to Devin Booker putting up huge numbers, so a 40-point game for him feels like another day at the office. Well, you talk about Booker's high-powered offense. He's a rare member of the 70-point club with only five other players in NBA history. Brent, you got Wilt, Kobe, David Thompson, Elgin Baylor, and David Robinson. Man, B.A., if you could sit down at a table to talk about your 70-point night, I'd like to be a server at that table. And it's James with the jam. LeBron James leading the charge right now on the offensive end, not afraid to put his team on his back. Pass to Durant. Biombo with it. Releases. Rebounded by Gabriel. And the foul called on Bismack Biombo. That's his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. 
Quarter two and about two minutes in. They are looking really strong offensively. Yeah, just terrific momentum. Let's see if they can keep it up. <laughs> this game has been like a seesaw. Both teams going back and forth at one another. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. Back to Biombo. Clock at six. Aiden with a screen. It's going to be on LeBron James. That's his first foul. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Booker with it. Picked up by James. Booker drawing the double. Pass to Payne. Shot clock at five. Good on the bucket. That's a good find from Aiton, understanding the defensive scheme, and he just waited for his teammate to be open. And we've heard LeBron James say he's obsessed with win or bust, and this Lakers franchise certainly has that same approach, but aside from their 2020 title, there's been a lot of frustration. Now, can he and the Lakers get back where they expect to be? For him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. That one falls. Coming off Davis feeds. Now it's a four-point Laker lead. You love it when a star player like Anthony Davis is willing to share the ball and find a teammate. Kevin Durant. Durant with the bucket. Impressive offensive versatility for big. He can show you a variety of looks. Two points. That one goes. James has got 18 points in the game. That's just good basketball. I think King James down low is not a bad option. To the paint. Here's Davis. Aiton with the defensive effort. Durant with it. And Davis picks him up defensively. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And Kevin Durant post Achilles surgery. No apparent decline, Greg. Last season, the third highest scoring average of his career. I mean, incredible. Almost 30 points a game. Think about this. Two of the four times he's led the league in scoring, he did it averaging less points per game. And his efficiency? Huh. Good as ever. Almost had the steal. You have to love the pressure defense. Yeah, pestering right now, and that's going to pay some dividends. At some point, there's going to be a turnover. Here's Payne. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That one on Schroeder. Campaign has gotten this reputation and is well earned as a professional. Just able to come in the game, ready when called upon. He's going to impact on both ends of the floor what's being done out there. And that effort level, that has kept him around. The three, James. And another three for the Lakers. Yeah, there's just no guarding LeBron James when this shot looks this comfortable. That's three more. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Hooker no good. Now James. Shoots over Durant. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. 27. The Suns trailing. Pass to Aiden. To the middle. And another shot. Misses the layup. Now, here is James. Oh, and there's a one-hand jam. Yeah, I don't know how you defend LeBron in the screen and roll because he can fire passes right through the defense and into any gap available.
Here's Durant. 13 points in the game. Pass to Biombo. Second chance shot. Vanderbilt with the block. To the inside. Stolen by Payne. And here's Booker. Covered by Schroeder. Back to Aiden. For three, Durant. And the Suns miss again. The Lakers in the lead. After a tough decade for the Suns between 2010 and 2020, they are once again a team to be reckoned with in the NBA, Brent. Oh, man, the cachet of talent that this roster has is tremendous. And this team really came together in a hurry. And they're going to be a force for the next few years to come. It's Walker on the wing. Back to Schroeder. Down to five on the shot clock. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. Bomba misses. So it's Phoenix now. They're scoreless since the first half. Oh, and the jam by Ayton. Does it feel good as a big man like Ayton to throw it down? You bet it does. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And the move that really shook up the NBA world. I mean, Kevin Durant asking and receiving a trade out of Brooklyn. Now, with this team, he makes them a title favorite overnight. Boy, you love how guys are making plays for one another here. Yeah, just a balanced attack, a total team effort. Outside Walker. Three-pointer. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Booker drawing the double. Outside Durant. Driving inside. And it's slammed in by Durant. Well, long legs of Kevin Durant. They're galloping down the lane. I don't know how you catch up there. Back to Schroeder. Pass to Reeves. Well, there's the shot clock violation. So they'll turn it over. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. You gotta feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. He has seven. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two A minute 58 left to play in the third quarter. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's his first foul. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Pass to Reeves. Down low. Deflects the pass. Outside Durant. The three to the paint. Here's Aiton. The kick to Durant. Phoenix calls timeout. Let's hear it for you. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. 
And the Phoenix Suns have been a completely different team since acquiring Chris Paul. He's the leader of this team, and he helps set the tone on both ends. And both free throws good for Durant. Boy, the city of Phoenix really embracing Chris Paul as soon as he arrived. Yeah, I mean, he's in the latter stages of his career now. But you would never know it based on how hard he plays every single night. He just makes everyone on this team so much better. Pocket four. Here's James. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. LeBron has the skill and the green light to just get everything off anytime he wants, that time from the mid-range. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That'll be a second foul of the game. Coming into the floor for your Lakers. There's 53 seconds left in the third. And here's Beasley. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. The shot by James. No good. The Suns trailing. Pass to Durant. He can't get that one to fall. Good D by Vanderbilt. And the Lakers have possession. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. I just love how he runs the floor with energy and intensity, but still stays under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition, and that helps get the rhythm going. Here's Phoenix. Yeah, just hold for the last shot. Don't give him another possession at all. And hopefully that's what they'll do here. It's what most teams try to execute at this time in the game. And it's Kevin Durant with the foul. That's his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. James with the ball. With two seconds left. And slam dunk by James. It's amazing athletically what LeBron is still able to do exploding off the floor that time. 42. The Sun. 33. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. The Lakers in the lead. Pass to Bamba. Let's go with a three. He drops it from range. Bamba's got himself on the board with a three there. And let's face it, when you're down this many points, you simply can't let him get that good of a look. Teachable moment there. Lapses like this are backbreakers. James, right side. Six to shoot. Fader on the way. That one goes. Count it. James has got 29. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. So it's the Lakers now. Coming off a of Suns make. And James gets it to go. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Confidence is sensational, and it feels like no one is going to stop him tonight from scoring. Durant, no good. They absolutely want to add to what's already a big lead. No question, B.A. No reason to let up. Just keep playing your game. And they get it back. The shot by James, no good. And here are the Suns. Payne with the bucket. And KD keeping his head up that time, becoming a playmaker. 
And we're about two minutes into the fourth here. Pass to Bombo. Now James. And Aiden pulls it down. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. They double team Durant. Out and bounds. out of bounds, Los Angeles will have it. And the Suns making a change here. Substitution for the Suns. Josh Okogie. Chris Paul. And so it's the Lakers with it. Leading by 12. Pass to Bamba. Here's Reeves. From deep. And again, no good by the Lakers. Here's Durant. There's the drive. And it's slammed in by Durant. You love how sudden Durant can be with that attack. And he sliced up the defense. They were unprepared. We've got 155 left in the fourth. Here's James. And again, the Lakers, no good. The Suns on offense. Inside. Aiton. And Aiton with the stuff. Unselfish play by KD there. Such a big part of what makes him a special player. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. They're up by eight. There's a minute 40 left in the fourth quarter. Let's check in with our reporter, Ali LaForce. During that last break, I heard the Lakers coach as he addressed his team. And he implored them to be patient at the offensive end. He wants to use every second of the shot clock. He said, quote, if we take care of the ball and take our time and play D, this game is ours. Okay, thanks, Ali. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to be on DeAndre Ayton. Intelligent play there by Davis. He knows he has the defense on their heels as soon as he gets the ball that close to the rim. And so here's Phoenix. Eight-point game. Durant's shot is off. Now here's Bamba. Spins. To the left side wing. Picked it out of midair. Durant for three. Rebound by the Lakers. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. And James gets it to go. You can feel the excitement in this arena. These guys have done one heck of a job. A huge motivation, always great for a young team, but veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. This James on the wing. Back to Beasley. Here's Reeves. This one for three. And Aiden pulls it down. And they have to know that any hope of a comeback is gone. Well, realistic at this stage of the game, they're going to lose this one, but will they take something from the loss? All sorts of time. The shot by Reeves, no good. So we see the Lakers get the win here. A clean win, and one where they clearly showed better energy. Yes, so true. They put on a show here at home, and I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too.